victory tonight. This is a sweet victory. When I walk in, I say, it's a victory in the atmosphere. If I could just do one thing, I, I've never done it even with uh, Electric City Carson's one thing for one time, and it is a victory celebration, right? Yes. yes. Isidore, help me. Yes. Victory, victory shall be mine. Victory, victory shall be mine. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battle. Victory, victory shall be mine. Come on, let's give God a praise. came to my father's church years ago, Pinuel, 215 is on the next street between Rain and San Pedro. And Mike was diligent even back then. Mike always had a spirit of servitude and loving on people. I remember in high school, I say this all the time, Mike started working at Taco Bell, became a manager in high school. Yes, he did. <laughs> The news that put that on when Aaron gave me a but I said that on the news. I said, you know, cream has a way of rising to the top. And Mike is the cream de la cream of this era. I believe God's hand is on him. And Mike simply ran on his record. It just happened not to be criminal. No <laughs> but let me say this. Hashtag I'm just saying. But a few years ago when the real estate debacle happened, I owned about $21 million worth of property at the time. And the feds came at me with everything they had. I'd made my investments. Honestly, I was an investor. I wasn't a mortgage lender. I just put money into it. But I did well. But Omar, I know what it's like when they trump up charges against you or say yes, stuff that you do. I know what it's like when they put extra on time. But this man stood in the court with me in Nevada and spoke on my behalf. All right. He and some others mentioned when I got a million dollars into Hurricane Katrina through another organization, World Vision, and I had a 10% commission coming, being the transaction agent, and I gave it to the people. said, no, I don't want the 10%. Give it to the people. The judge said, I can't, I can't send this man to jail. He's generous. He's a blessing. But when Mike stood for me, I had to stand for him on yesterday. There were 40 and 50 preachers at the Baptist Ministries Conference that morning, and I was going to go there, and I was going to raise hell. I went with my USC sweatsuit on, I was ready to They weren't going to get the bishop, they were going to get the herb dog. But God navigated the circumstance, and Wendell Davis and I got together and said, we're going to have our own press conference, just yes, us sir. two. Yes, sir. And we spoke out on Mike's behalf because Mike is a blessing. Yes, He's a wonderful man. He's a wonderful husband. He's a wonderful father. Woo! And the son that they said he was dead beyond is my godson. All right. And I know Mike got him as a boy and raised him himself. Yeah. Right. And there's some other issues on the other side of the campus. Don't even talk about them anymore because their day is done. Right. This man is the man. Yes. Yes. The one. We're going to have a very brief funeral service for the campaign of the prophet. <laughs> <laughs> Ashes and ashes, dust and dust. Disappear in 